Welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to create a user entity for the database. Basically, we are going to use a database in which we will store the complete user bin inside of it. So it will become a table or an entity. So for that purpose, first of all, we will remove the JSON filter here and we will remove it from the controller too. Okay, let's remove it out this one too and make it a model okay so we are uh, ready then one more thing is we have to import the jpa and a hibernate dependencies if you want to find the dependencies you can find it online uh, on a maven central or from google but i always recommending to find them using a spring initializer you can go to the star.spring.io and find it from there okay so you have to add a dependency which is a jpa and a h2 okay so we will use a spring jpa and hibernate h2 database and to do the whole work okay so when you click on the explore uh, it is for a gradle we have to click on a maven and explore it so you can see we have these two dependencies here which we want to add into our system we will just copy them and open our eclipse and then go to the form.xml file go below and add your dependencies here okay so as you can see i have added my dependencies here now i can use them easily so we have a user bean here i uh, basically i want to make uh, that user bean as a table for that purpose i will put the entity here and if you want to uh, put the specific name for it you can use name is equal to some table okay but if you don't put any name for it it will automatically create the entity using that name okay so it depends on you now this is our id this is a primary key and if you want to put it a id you can name it like id so it will become a primary key automatically okay now i want to uh, add that id as i want to do it like a uh, uh, gen auto auto increment generation so i do not have to specify id each time it will automatically generate the next id for the for my rows okay so i will use generation generated value okay and i will use the strategy as generation type dot identity okay so i can just import it so i have that ready we have an entity of a user bean with the id and with the generated value now it is uh, our entity is complete okay you do not have to specify any other thing because these fields will automatically convert it into a column okay and they will be used in our entity but if you want to specify the things you can do it for example for the first name i want to specify the size uh, for a var char let's say i will say the max size is uh, 75 okay i will import it okay and then i will put a annotation called a column okay and i will say name is equal to first name okay it is for your satisfaction if you want to do it and remember it, that it is a column with the first name but if you want you can put some other name here some different name here yeah, or whatever you think best to do that and for that one i will put the same thing like the size max is equal to 75 okay and a column name last name okay and we have the email address here i will say size max is equal to 100 and column name is email okay and for the street address i will say again the size max is 125 and our column is street address and for the age we already have the minimum and max values we will just put the column here and the name is it okay so we have the complete entity ready we will use it and it will automatically convert the object with the details into a row and put it into our database and help us retrieving the data out of the database now in our next lecture we will going to implement the gpa and hibernate databases on it